Hi guys, this is Steve A. This is Tarantula Tassic Enclosures and this is an enclosure test. So guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be testing out and having a look at some brand new prototype tarantula room enclosures. Now I'm the first one to have any of these and I'm really excited to see what they are all about. Let's go and have a look guys. Right guys, so today we're testing out these brand new tarantula room enclosures prototype. Now I'm loving these. It's a front opening door. The door comes all the way off. It just slides and locks into place. We've got a temperature and hydrometer on the top. Obviously ventilation at the top and the front there. Plenty of room for substrate. So it's not gonna affect the door at all. Awesome solid build all round. So what we've done, we just added a simple background into it there. So we're going to set this up for an AVIC. I've done a little setup here. This is the smaller terrestrial version. So we've just done a little setup. For a green bottle blue, it's basically the same hydrometer ventilation, same locking front door. So, look inside there, got plenty of viewing all the way around. I've done the same thing on the back, added a little background. Now we're entering the, the realms of exoterra and stuff here now this is a really really quality build as you can see sets up quite nice all i've done is added the little skull in there as it's a green bottle blue we've added some fake plants i don't usually use them anymore but green bottle blue will web all that up anyway a little bit of cork bark so what i've also done these tubs that you can never ever use again. Bit of cork bark, like an end cut bit. Hide it down. That's a perfect hidden little water dish for a little spider. Obviously, if you've got bigger um, spiders, you can get sort of a deli pot and a bigger bit of cork bark. Just slide it in and put it to the side. That's all hidden. That's, it just looks like a little tree stump, as you can see. It's exactly what I've done there. So from the front, you can't see anything. So in here, we've got a little green bottle blue to go in. These are the new catch cup tubes. From tarantula room this is a smaller version they do a square version or the round version and it's quite easy to transfer just pull off one end and then the other and then there we go all done as simple as that Door on, these can slide either side, sorted. So there we go, with a nice little setup with a real plant. Use that water bowl trick again. That looks awesome. Nice simple little setup, nothing over the top. Lovely little plant. Cool. 
Right, so in here we have got a Navicularia SP Columbia. Now these are a stunning purple in colour. So I'm just going to pop this one in. As you can see the colours. Foot all simply done. Awesome colorations. Yeah, I think they work really, really well. It's a simple little setup. You can see the colors down there now, it's done in purples. Yeah, I think they look cool. Loads of room. They're quite smart, tidy looking enclosures. Also, because they're lightweight, even though they've got sliding doors, you just move it slightly forward and it will go past the other enclosure because they go to set. A nice and lightweight to be able to do that. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. Thumbs up from me. So, yep, yeah, it's a big thumbs up from me. Um, only thing I'd suggest, um, the smaller ones, the top door is a bit small. It could be the slight little bit bigger to uh, make it easier to like set out the enclosure and everything. But it's a really, really good solid build. Um, really, really sturdy. Um, because of the lightweight thing, a couple of people have said online when I posted up about it, about the doors like not being able to clash. All you've got to do is pull it back like five mil, open the door, slide it back in. It's easy, easy done. Um, Plenty of ventilation because you've got the front and top this time. Um, nice flat back um, to, as you see, I just got, um, you can buy them ready, ready made cork bark backgrounds. Just slot that on the back and changes the whole outlook of the enclosure altogether. As I said, I've only done a really, really simple build on these ones. We're going to um, test them over the next few weeks. And uh, But the way they're looking at the minute, they look awesome. Um, obviously, we'll see down further down the line, but um, I think they're spot on, and I cannot wait until these guys, um, Tarantula Room gets these into production and gets them to you guys on the website um, as soon as possible because I, I think they're awesome. They look really classy as well. You, you're sort of entering the realms of like Exoterra that that look, you know, you want stuff to look really, really cool on your shelves, and these are looking cool. Um, Excellent design. I like the hydrometer and the temperature meter on, on the top as well. I think they, that uh, that's a really nice added uh, effect. Um, and they've done them on their deluxe models anyway. But um, I think these are the new deluxe models. I love them. I think they are. I love front opening enclosures as well because it, it just, uh, it's real ease for me. Because, I mean, I've got a lot of tanks and stuff on the wall and it is a bit of a pain pulling every single one off feeding day on a Saturday but let's see how we get on with these ones as I was saying we, the first one was a pretty simple one because it's uh, the smaller one because it's going to be for a green bottle blue so um, they'll just web that up anyway and um, the next one uh, Avicularia SP Columbia and um, we put a live plant in there so we're going to see how that um, fares up in one of those enclosures as well so it's a double test, so what we'll do, um, we'll add it onto another video further down the line in a couple of weeks. We'll put one up and uh, we'll we'll show. Be good for you guys to see as well because you'll be able to see how much the Green Bottle Blues webbed in there in two weeks' time and how the AVIC is getting on as well. Now, she's a heavy webber as well, so 
I hope she, she don't kill the plant off by just webbing the whole plant. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you very much for the tarantula room for giving me this opportunity to test these ones out. They are really cool. And hopefully they will be coming to their website or a show near you soon. Apart from that, as usual, guys, give it a thumbs up. The more thumbs up for the YouTube algorithms gets me more views. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Do -do 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 -do. Notifies you of upcoming videos. Doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean a lot to me because then you get to see my videos and that's what it's all about. Hopefully you've got um, uh, a good idea of what these tanks are like today. So uh, apart from me, this is Steve. I shall see you later.